Let's take a look at how we offset animation with effectors. And in this little setup, I've got a cube and it has these deformers underneath it. Now deformers allow you to manipulate geometry in a non-destructive way. So I've got this bend deformer selected and you can see it's got some animation on it. If I hold down J and just scrub the timeline, you can see now it's unfolding this cube and the cube also has a bit of tapering on it. You can turn these off and as I said, it's non-destructive. So now this is quite interesting when you put it into a cloner and see, so just turn on the cloner here. We've got the cloner in a linear setup and the clone is going to use a spline effector to clone onto this outer ring. So what happens when we play all this back? Well, we get this kind of unfolding happening. But wouldn't it be cool if we can offset this and kind of create a cascading effect? Well, let's do that with a step effector. So I'm going to select the clone and come over to the MoGraph menu and with the effectors, we'll just come all the way down here to step. Now that's going to put its default behavior on, which is to scale up the clones. So we're going to turn that off. And what we're interested in is this time offset. So let's come back to our bend deformer and see we've got 20 frames. So I want to maybe offset that by 40 frames. You can see we're getting a, an effect immediately in the viewport. So if I just come and move this step effector down and just rewind. So that's nice. That's exactly what I'd like to see. It's all being offset. But now I want this to kind of unravel and we can do that by changing some parameters on the spline effector and the cloner. So with the spline effector, we want to manipulate this end property. So let's come to our frame where we want it to end up, which is 60. I'm going to set a keyframe, just clicking on the dot. Now we've recorded that and we can just come back to the start and just slide this all the way down and then we'll record another keyframe as well. So. I'd like the cloner, let's just see what we've got actually. So now that's unfolding. That's a pretty cool effect in itself. And then we can just change the count of the clone. So they just, so we get clones as it's unfolding. So if we, we know at frame 60, we want our 36 clones and then we can come back. And maybe just change this down to one. And now let's just see what we've got. So we have the clones unfolding and growing around this outer ring in a cascading animation. So this kind of stuff looks great when you throw a material on and if it's in a reflective environment, you can see it will pick up all these different reflections. And then we could end up with something animated that looks a bit like that. So that's a way of using the step effector to offset animation.